always say technology is great when it's working, not so great when it's not. What do you do when it's not working? So I believe that it's always important for us to be able to get to where we're not dependent on our technology. Our tech's amazing, it helps us, but we're the users. Your mind is the ultimate tech. People had all kinds of successes before we had cell phones and computers and all these things, so don't think that you're dependent upon that. In fact, everything that we create with our lives, everything, begins with just one thought. So in many ways, you could say success begins from the inside out. How many of you have ever been aware of the first time that you desired something in your life. I've dedicated my life to learning how my mind works and specifically to how to apply that to creating success in my life. My definition for success is being able to create what I want in my life. I used to have this little Nissan pickup truck. Now this was a great little truck and I liked it a lot, but there was a point where I became aware that it was time for an upgrade. If you've ever owned a pickup truck, you know on a long trip that little cab can get a little bit cozy. It's the first step when you're creating something in your life. You become aware of the need. Now a little while later, I was riding in a Ford Explorer with a friend of mine. There were several of us in there and I sat back and kind of realized, wow, there's a lot of space in here. That was the first time I was aware of the desire. So those two things are required whenever you create anything in your life. First, you become aware of the need, and then you become aware of the desire. I want to share with you now a story about when I was confronted with something that almost seemed impossible to me. This is an Australian didgeridoo. It's made by the Aborigines. Traditionally, when people play them, they use a technique called circular breathing. Now, circular breathing is kind of like the holy grail to a wind player. So I played trombone in high school and college, and I knew about circular breathing, but I could never get it down. For about a year, while everybody was drumming away, I would be blowing on this didgeridoo, trying to figure out circular breathing. Now, I was actually grateful for all the drumming because I probably sounded pretty stupid trying to figure this thing out. But after a while, I began to get it. Something just clicked. And what I realized, looking back on it, is that the thing that changed was my belief. Now think about it. Our whole lives, we're either breathing in or breathing out. We're not doing both at the same time. So that was what I had to change. I had to change that one idea, that one thought, and then I got it. So in your life, what is that one thought that you need to change to create your success? You need to present you the Australian didgeridoo. Thank <laughs> you.